does GDOT actually budget now for this district? Just, just throw out a guess. <clears throat> I really don't know because we, we split two GDOT districts. We have District 4 and District 5. Um, I'm actually going to, Joe, would you, he's our district engineer, I'm going to ask if you have got a, any kind no, of guess. No, I don't. But, uh, I mean, I can look it up. Well, well, let's say, let's just throw out a number. Let's say it's 75 million. And, and I don't know if that's way above or way That'd be low. Okay. Well, well, let's say 75 million. Where is that 75 million going now once this is in place? And then where is the LARP money that the current cities and counties get? Where is that going to go? It, it doesn't check. Those, all that funding saves where it is. Yeah. And the LARP money is now called LMA. Okay. Um, for, for those of you who may not be familiar. L, they got rid of the LARP program, it's now called LMIG. Um, essentially, it's the same. Um, there's a few things to change. But, um, What's LMIG mean? Local Maintenance and Improvement Grant Program. <coughs> um, so, so that money is still in place. That money is still, still in place. Yep. Yep. How much do we get now for current federal fuel taxes? The currently. Um, the state of Georgia receives about one billion dollars from the federal fuel tax, which is eighteen point four cents per gallon. Do you, do you know how much this region gets? I do not. Do you know how much from the state fuel tax? What the total is and how much we get? The state motor fuel tax is about eight hundred to nine hundred million, somewhere in there. Um, and then uh, for the region, I do not know. I, th that information is available, but I do, I do not have this information. I'm not sure it. Yeah. Uh, gasoline has been on the decline in terms of its usage. Uh, how do you figure that uh, the money projections are going to remain the same uh, and be sustained, to use your uh, nice word there, throughout the 10-year period? This is a sales tax on all goods, not just gasoline. So this is going to be on your clothes that you buy, the cars that you buy, um, the, the... Grocery? Everything. Mm -hmm. There you breathe. That's it. Everything is... It, it's, a, it's not just on gasoline. Um, but GDOT has, that's one of the reasons that the Georgia General Assembly looked at this, because they are seeing decreased revenues on the gasoline sales tax side, or on the gasoline tax side. Because the RC and decreased revenue. And that's why they want to look at this. Let me ask you this. If we voted for this, then the state can also come back and raise the gasoline taxes on them per gallon, whatever they wish to do. Is that correct? That is up to the General Assembly. You have one of them present who voted for about five of them. They're the ones trying to put this on. Cool. Another vote for a next time on I, I'm, can I stop questions right now? I'm going to let me finish. I have a feeling some of these might be answered as I go throughout. So let me hold them off right now and we'll answer them as we go.